Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. I'm so excited. I have Patrick Ta today here as my guest makeup artist. He's an LA based makeup artist and I'm such a fan of his work. He does the most beautiful, glamorous makeup. We have a gorgeous model here today. Uh, her name is Shiva Safai. Shiva also has an amazing Instagram and uh, Patrick works with Shiva all the time. And so what did you do today? Um, today we just did a very glowy, bronzy, glamorous look on her. Um, and you're going to show us step by step yep. how you created this I'm makeup. I'm going to show you all the product steps and how we finished the look. Yeah, and uh, we're going to show you now in this tutorial step by step. It's so beautiful. All the products are in the description box and let us know what you think about this video. Don't forget to like it. And Patrick, maybe you'll come on again in the future to do yes, a different please. look. And give us some love in this video. Leave us some nice comments. And don't fo forget to follow Shiva, Patrick, and me on Instagram and on Twitter. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to start by spraying some um, Scandinavia, it's an oral control finishing spray on Chiba's face. This will help um, control the oils on her skin. And I'm going to start by just combing up her eyebrows with a spoolie, just to make sure all the eyebrow hairs are going in the same direction. I, I like starting off with eyebrows first, just because it kind of shakes the eye for me, so I know where to put the eyeshadow. So I'm using a Anastasia palette, and you, you can obviously tell the two colors I use the most. She would actually likes her eyebrows to be like a little bit lighter than her actual hair, so I'm going to use blonde on her. I'm using a Bedellium Tools 764 brush, and I'm just going to lightly color in her eyebrows. I'm going to take my NARS um, Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my palm. And I'm using a MAC 239 brush. I like this brush for this particular um, product just because it's flat and I can really shape out the brow with it. I kind of go, I kind of draw like, like, like underneath the eyebrow first and once most of the product is on the breath, I mean on the skin, I just wipe it onto the eyelid so it all blends together. Um, I'm going to prime her eyelids now. I'm using um, Painterly by MAC. And I normally just use my fingers to apply this product. This prevents um, eyeshadow from creasing. It, I feel like it gives my, like my eyeshadow like a longer wear time. So since I do do um, my eyes first, I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation that I'm going to be using on the rest of her skin. I am using Guerlain's foundation um, in the Lingerie de Pew in the color 3. Okay, I'm going to take the foundation and just apply this on her eyelid. So everything blends well together once we put on the foundation. The sponge that I'm using to blend this foundation out is um, a glamour sponge. And then I'm going to set her eyelids with this Laura Mercier powder. It's in number 7. It's, a, it's the smooth finish foundation powder. And I'm using a 224 brush to, to set this. I do this just because I feel like it it makes it easier for me to blend out the eyeshadow. So for the next product, um, to build my crease color, I'm going to start off by using um, Refined Golden by MAC. I like using bronzers in the crease just because it's the same bronzer that I'm going to use on her face too, so everything kind of like intertwines together. And I'm using the 224. I'm, I'm just gonna have to look down, but not, but not fully close. And I'm just gonna kind of go in a 
when she would wipe her motion, I'm putting this color really just in the crease. And then once I feel that most of the, the powder is off the brush, I'm just going to slowly wipe it up into the eyebrows so everything blends together. Okay, so I am going to take the next eyeshadow. I'm using um, this Chanel eyeshadow in N86 Trace. And I'm using a MAC um, 217 brush. I'm, I'm going to apply, you can obviously tell I use this color a lot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply this color just in the outer crease. So my next product that I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury. It is the eyeshadow palette in Golden Goddess and I'm still going to use my MAC 217 brush. I'm using the same brush and I'm using this brown shade. I like the color of the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I like like the darkness of the other one. So I like mixing, them to, mixing the two together. The next product I'm going to use is also another Charlotte Tilbury palette. Um, it's in Dolce Vita. And the color I'm going to be using is this shimmery brown color. And so I'm using a clean um, 239 brush by MAC. And I'm just going to apply this on her lids. We have 50 shades of brown today. <laughs> I know. I and I like when when I go makeup shopping, I buy the same color, and like I always tend to like buy the same shades of like lipsticks, and eyeshadows. Okay, I'm gonna take a little just a, a makeup wipe I get from Target. I'm just gonna clean any fallout that we have underneath here. I always see how much. So so these are the makeup wipes from Target that I'm using. Um, they're like four dollars, and they work very very well they can take out like the blackest of black like eyeliner so now i'm gonna use my kevin aquan eyelash color it's my favorite one just because it opens so far and then the mascara that i'm going to be using is this Guerlain. it's the Guerlain mascara in number one north so I'm also going to take this MAC 205 brush and I'm just going to comb out the lashes. So I'm going to prep her skin now and I'm using this Laura Mercier foundation primer in the color Radiance. I use this product just because it kind of it moisturizes the skin and it also kind of gives a illuminating effect. I'm just going to apply that on her whole entire face. So for the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the same one that we applied on her eyes. It's the Guerlain and number 3. So the brush that I'm going to be using is this Tarte foundation brush. It has two ends. I never really use this and I, I, I use this in the most. I'm just going to apply this evenly throughout her whole entire... This is a medium to a two full coverage foundation. It's very buildable. I apply it with this brush first and then I'm going to go back in with a beauty blender. And before it dries, I'm just going to blend this side out. I kind of work in sections. Okay, so I'm going to be using this, um, it's a Laura Mercier, it, like it's, it's a finishing brush. It's a finishing eye brush, and we're seeking the foundation and putting it under the eyes just so it can be a little bit more detailed since this, since this brush is smaller. And then I'm going to go back in with a small little baby beauty blender and just kind of press in that foundation. So for the next product, um, I'm going to highlight her skin now and I'm still using the NARS um, Radiant Concealer in the color Custard. 
I'm just going to put a little bit underneath her eyes in like a triangle shape. I kind of put like a, like a generous amount just because I'm using this color kind of to highlight her skin as well. And then I'm going to use a little small beauty blender and press it in. So I'm going to use the same concealer to kind of highlight other areas of her face and using, I'm doing the bridge of the nose. A little bit on the cupid's bow. Chin and then a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the forehead. I'm just going to use the beauty blender to kind of press it in. This kind of just gives the face dimension. I'm going to blend out the concealer on her nose as well. Sometimes we'll leave her head like this, but I'm, I'm just going to go a little bit more. I'm going to use um, MAC Select Moisture in and C15. And I'm, I'm just going to use this again just to kind of brighten up that highlight even more. I'm just going to blend in with the beauty blender. I'm just really doing this underneath the eyes so you can see that bright highlight. I solely use this product just because I like the color of it. I don't really use it to conceal or anything. I just like to use it just because I feel like the color is really pretty. Now I'm going to go into her contour and I'm going to use um, this Chanel Cream Bronzer. There's, there's only one color so it's a really it's, it's a really great bronzer because I feel like the color is great. Like if you if you just don't feel like wearing makeup that day, I feel like if you just put like a light layer of this over your skin, it kind of gives you like a fresh, healthy glow. And I, I'm gonna have you smile just a little bit, and I'm just gonna kind of carve out your cheekbone. I'm just gonna I'm putting this in the hollow of the cheek, and then I'm just gonna. Press it in with the glamour sponge. I don't like it. I don't like it. The contour to be too too harsh. I'm gonna go ahead and set her under eye now. I'm I'm using this La Mer um, powder. It's in the translucent color, and I'm using a, a Bedellian tools in nine four nine. I love this powder because I feel like it has like somewhat of like a glow to it. I'm just going to use this to set underneath the eyes. I'm very like, generous in the amount that I'm putting on, just so it kind of sets all the concealer that we put underneath. And you can buy this um, powder at Nordstrom or Neiman's. It's kind of pricey, but I feel like the amount of powder that you get and the quality of it is just so good. Well worth it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually going to take a big Kevin Kwan brush and kind of just lightly powder the rest of her face, just, just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go back in with some more bronzer and I'm going to use the same bronzer that we used in her crease. It, this is MAC Refined Golden and I'm using a, a MAC 168 brush and I'm just going to take this color lightly and I'm going to turn this way. And it's going to go in a circular motion and kind of go over that contour. Just to further define your cheekbone. And then down the side of each nose. Okay, so then for the, for the blush, this is actually like my favorite blush right now. It is Edward Best. And it's in the color Monte Carlo. You can buy this at Neiman's. Um, but it is honestly such a pretty blush. And I actually, I like using these three colors a little bit more. If, if my client's a little bit tanner, I'll use that, that color. But I'm, I'm kind of just going to mix these three together. And I'm using a MAC um, 116 brush. And I'm going to have you smile. 
I'm just gonna put this on the apples of your cheeks. And then I like to put a little bit of the same color blush um, just in the crease, just so it, it kind of like ties everything together. And I'm using just a MAC 224 brush. Do the same thing to this end. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes now. I'm gonna be using a MAC 219 brush and I'm gonna apply some color on, so like underneath her eyes just to kind of further smoke it out. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Golden Goddess in the darkest shade, doesn't it? I'm just gonna apply this along her under eye. And then I'm gonna take a 217 brush and then just blend it all out underneath, just so there's no harsh lines. And I'm going to go back once more and comb Shiva's eyebrows up, just so they look nice and fluffy and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and then for eyelashes, I'm going to be using medium individuals. Um, I use a mixture of a bunch. I use mediums, longs, and then some singles as well, but I'll show you that once we get there. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this duo glue just on the back of my palm. And I like to kind of pull out the, the eyelashes first with my fingers and just put it on my palm. Just because when I, when I find I pull them out with the tweezers, it kind of ruins the eyelash. So I'm just going to apply the mediums throughout her whole entire lash line. And the easiest way to put this on is just dabbing the eyelash onto the, onto the glue and I just make sure the eyelash is straight because sometimes, I mean, I don't think it's hard, but for, for people who haven't done it, it's kind of hard doing individuals just because the eyelashes will go in every direction and they just look crazy. So the next layer that I'm going to do it are the Ardell um, longs and I'm only going to put probably maybe like three on each side and I'm going to focus them mostly in the middle, the middle of the, the eye. And also, um, depending on like what type of eye I do, I'll either use black or white glue. Um, the white glue dries clear and the black glue dries black. But if I, if I have more of a smoky eye, I'll use the black glue. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use some single long ones. And I'm just going to apply this also in the middle. And the brand of these is Manda Studios. Oh, I buy these at Nigel's in LA. I feel like they add a little, just a little thick twinkle. If this this length is too long for you, like, and you can do, kind of do the same technique with using, instead of like starting off with mediums, you can start off with short ones and use the, the medium ones to, to put in the middle and to medium ones of the single hairs too. And they're super light, you don't even feel you mm -hmm. have any lashes on. I feel like when doing lashes on someone too, like if, if their eyes tend to get watery, I always do individuals because I feel like it doesn't irritate as much. So I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, it, I like this, this mascara just because the brush is so small. I'm going to have you look up. I'm just going to put some bottom mascara on. Sometimes I don't put bottom mascara on just because they want like the eyes to look like they're going like up. But since I'm gonna put some cream eyeliner, I'm gonna put this on just so it looks more dramatic. And then for the inner rim, I'm gonna be using this MAC chromographic pencil in NC15 and W20. I'm uh, just gonna have you look up. This is actually um, discontinued, but it's Whisper of Guilt by Mac, 
and I'm just going to apply this with a 168 brush just on the highlights of her cheekbones just to kind of create a little shimmer a little bit down the nose and above I'm actually going to also use this highlight for the inner corner of the eye too I'm using a MAC um, pencil brush in 219 And then you can also use your fingers to kind of like put it on a little bit on the lid. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, Max um, Strip Down. I'm just going to line her lips. I'm doing. Um, I love, I, I love this lip liner, this lip liner because I feel like it works with so many colors. And then I'm going to take a little lip brush and blend it in. And then the color lipstick that I'm going to be using is Kate Nude by Chateauberry. I feel like this color is like the perfect nude just because it's not too nude and not too bright. So I'm going to be using um, Max Peach Stock just to put a little bit of a shine onto the lips. This is also another like, I feel like creamy, creamy nude. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to go back in with the, skin, with the Skin and Area Spray and then just mist her off. Just to kind of set everything. And then we're done.